I'm glad you're here. Um, I guess while you're here, let's talk about the math section of the KNAT test. This is going to be 28 questions in 45 minutes. And I've got all the topics that you need to know. This section of the test, pretty easy math. You're not going to see super complicated stuff. It's mostly all stuff that you can do on a calculator. All right, so that's going to make your life easy. Uh, there is a calculator on the screen while you're taking the test. So you'll be able to use that. So not a lot of questions. You can't afford to miss many. They will bring your score down if you do. So make sure you understand all of the topics that we're going to go over. You have access to really good resources. There is KNAT Tutor online course from Smart Edition Academy. Uh, Smart Edition also has a uh, print book study guide. So check those things out. We go over every single topic. We give you video lessons. I'm just here to tell you what's on the test because I spent a lot of time watching every video on YouTube to understand this so that you don't have to. This is the only video you need to watch. It's going to be a lot of basic math, right? So you might see problems like 1.36 minus 1.02 not very difficult. You have a calculator, you can do that pretty easily. And then the other biggest thing is that most of this test, most of the questions are going to be fractions. So you really need to know your fractions. Uh, I can't stress that enough. That's going to be the number one thing I can tell you is understand fractions, multiplying, dividing by a whole number, mixed numbers. There, there's a lot of different types of fractions. So we'll go over every single type of fraction that'll help you out. Uh, you'll see some ratios. You know, an example of a question you might see is like a nurse needed 60 milliliters of a certain liquid or medicine and the syringe only held 40 milliliters. How much more would they need? And they want it as a percentage. So you need to be able to convert some of these things and uh, you know, from decimals to fractions to percentages and all that stuff. So if you haven't yet subscribed to us on YouTube, join the Facebook group, the KNAP Facebook group, and you'll get lots more good information like this. Basic addition and subtraction, you guys know that. Uh, I won't go into that too much, self-explanatory. You have basic multiplication and division, also pretty basic, but some people can get tripped up on the on the signs, the negative signs that can definitely throw a kink in there. So make sure you're familiar and comfortable with signed multiplication and division. And then we can talk about those decimals and fractions, right? Again, fractions, 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 know your fractions for the math subject area of KNAT. Changing decimals to fractions, converting among fractions, decimals, and percentages. Here's my tip to you. Use the calculator. Okay, no matter how good you are at fractions or not, you can always convert that fraction into a decimal and it's gonna make things a little easier for you. So if you see a problem that is like three eighths plus four ninths, use the calculator, divide three by eight, get the decimal, divide four by nine, get that decimal, add them together might make more sense. It definitely does for me. It definitely helps me out when I have to do those types of things. Um, and if you are comfortable with fractions, definitely more power to you. If you want to double check your work, turn it into decimals. Uh, and, and that's a kind of quick way to do that. So that's kind of my tip on fractions in general should help you with this uh, most important part of the test. So you're going to have addition and subtraction of fractions. That is subtracting a fraction from a fraction, adding fractions with like denominators are, are subtracting fractions without like denominators. Those will be things you might see. There is multiplication and division of fractions. And then those kind of subtopics within that is going to be multiplying a fraction by a fraction, uh, multiplying a fraction by a whole or mixed number, dividing a fraction by a fraction, dividing a fraction by a whole or mixed number. All things that you should be totally prepared for uh, and ready to answer. Ratios, proportions, percentages. You know, I gave that example of percentages with the syringe. So, you know, make sure you are comfortable with all that stuff. Not going to be a ton of algebra, but you will see solving real world mathematical problems. Um, so you need to be able to turn a word problem into an equation. Um, so you need to pull out the numbers in that word problem and you need to know if you need to divide it or multiply it or convert things into ratios. You got to understand what they're asking you to do in that word problem, pull the information out and be able to do that. So that's going to be the real world problems. You're also going to see standards of measure. 
right? So this is kind of the metric system. I can tell you, you will need this in nursing school. Whatever program you go into, you're going to need to know the metric system. Just do yourself a favor now and uh, understand that stuff, learn that stuff. It's going to make it easier in nursing school for you. You have length conversions. That's like inches to feet, yards to feet, meters, kilometers. You have volume and weight conversions. That's pints, quarts, ounces, milligrams, centigrams, uh, kilograms, tons. You need to know all this stuff for nursing. It's real world stuff you're going to need to know it and that's everything that you need to know for this math section so i know you guys have every topic that you need to study now you have the resources available to you from smart edition academy hopefully this is helpful for you and you know good luck on this section of the test